Hello, students of Ben Loman High School. It is me, Mr. Thomas, your fourth favorite teacher. It's crazy to think that it was just three weeks ago that you guys were in my class and I was teaching you as you sat drilling farts into these very desks. Since I haven't been able to teach in person like I'd normally like, instead I've been spending my time doing things like trying on new sweaters, spending time with my children. I even went over and helped the construction workers finish our gym. I think it turned out pretty nice. I have a suspicion that many of you are like me and have also been spending a lot of time on our phones, taking awesome selfies like this one, or reading through the news. While you were flipping through the news the last few weeks, you may have come across a few stories about how animals were doing really well and making a big comeback while all of the humans were quarantined. Scattered amid a relentless barrage of news about COVID-19 case surges, some happy stories started circulating on Twitter that seemed to soften the blows. Swans had returned to deserted Venetian canals. Dolphins, too. And a group of elephants had sauntered through a village in Yunnan, China, drank a corn drink, and passed out in a tea garden. These reports of wildlife triumphs in countries hard hit by novel coronavirus got hundreds of thousands of retweets. They went viral on Instagram and TikTok. They made news headlines. If there was a silver line of this pandemic, people said... This was it. Animals were bouncing back, running free in a humanless world. But it wasn't real. I guess it turns out that you actually cannot believe everything you see on the internet. In fact, I actually did not help build the Bin Loma gym. And this is not actually my son. I just found him in a Walmart parking lot and thought he was cute and took him home. And I know this can be a tough pill to swallow because, I mean, come on. If you can't trust Six Buzz TV's Instagram account, what can you trust? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what our assignment is about this week. If you guys go to Newzella, take a look at the assignments tab, you will find a new article about this. Uh, go over all this. I want you guys to take a look at that, read through the article carefully, and answer the questions that go along with that. And let's start a discussion about why... We believe things on the internet when we know most of the time they're bogus. And while you guys do that assignment, I'm going to try and more sweaters.